Everyone, please rise. This is a very, very special day for Pa and Laura. They have chosen to become husband and wife on this 1st of May, the year 2011, Las Vegas, Nevada. Who has the honor of presenting this bride to be this evening? I do. Thank you. Give me a favor. Give her a kiss on cheek. Take your hand, Mr. Take your hand. Stand next to your future wife. You gotta let her go. <laughs> Come forward, both of you. Oh, no, no kissing yet. <laughs> Guests may be seated. Let's get out of the sun. Come over here. All right, take his arm. There you go. Is the sun bothering you? Yeah. You okay? At this time, allow me to express my congratulations. You know, as your minister, I don't believe in luck or chance or coincidence. I believe in purpose. This marriage was meant to happen. It's a good purpose. And just give yourself some time. It's going to continue to reveal itself, this good purpose. But the main reason you're standing here is because of love. And that is the best reason to enter marriage, love. So let's think about this word for a moment. For you see, it is love that's going to keep this marriage strong. And I believe the word deserves a few moments of thought. Three types of love between individuals. There's a love that says, I will love you if. Doesn't work. Love with conditions. Then we have another one that says, I will love you because of. No good. Love with conditions. Finally, we have one that says, I will love in spite of. This one works. However, let me warn you, very demanding, but it works. An unconditional love. And this is a love where I hope both of you choose to express in this marriage your love unconditionally. No strings attached. It's an ongoing love. It's not a selfish love. In fact, if you commit yourself to this love, you're going to find out it's a sacrificial love. It's going to take a lot of sacrifice, but it's worth it, and it works. But it's going to take the commitment of both of you to this marriage and to this love to make it work. Here's the flowers. Turn around facing him. Take that his hand. Paul, do you take Laura to be your lovely wife this evening in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, for rich or for poor, to walk with her as a friend, partner, lover, provider, protector, husband? Do you take her as your wife? I do. Laura, do you take Paul as your husband, also in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, for richer or for poor, to walk with him as a friend, partner, lover, wife, a wife that will stand with him. Do you take him as your husband? I do. Now, these rings will seal this commitment. But at the same time, they're symbols. They symbolize love. An unbroken love, an eternal love, a love that you're about to commit toward one another. My hope is, as you view these rings on a daily basis, may they remind you of this commitment you're about to make. 
It's 1st of May, year 2011, Las Vegas, Nevada. I want you to say a few words to, to your wife. Put it up high. Say her name. Laura. Hold her name. Hold her name. I give to you my promise. I give to you my promise. That from this day forward. That from this day forward. You shall not walk alone. You shall not walk, walk alone. With this ring. With this ring. I give you my heart. I give you my heart. I have no greater gift to give. I have no greater gift to give. I promise I shall do my best. I promise that I will do my best. I shall always try. I shall always try. I feel so honored. I feel so honored. To call you my wife. Paul. I give to you my promise. <laughs> I give to you my promise. That from this day forward. Sorry. That from this day forward. You shall not walk alone. There, you, shall, you shall not walk alone. With this ring. With this ring. I give you my heart. I give you my heart. I have no greater gift to give. I have no greater gift to give. I promise I shall do my best. I promise I shall do my best. I shall always try. I shall always try. I feel so honored. I feel so honored. To call you my husband. To call you my husband. The flower. Well, in a few moments, that's going to become a reality, husband and wife. Congratulations again. And you know, two people in love, like the both of you, you made a good choice here. Just do me a favor and do yourselves a favor. Don't ever take this love for granted. And don't allow anybody, anyone, or anything to come between the two of you. And I'm talking about family, friends, money, beliefs, children. Well, the list can go on and on. Don't let them divide you. For you see, true love is not easily found in this world between two people. I have a feeling both of you are well aware of this fact already. The 1st of May, a day which will mark your anniversary, and the presence of your friends and family. Everyone, please rise. By the authority given to me by the state of Nevada, it's my pleasure, it's my honor to pronounce you husband and wife. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the new Mr. and Mrs. McManaman. Stay here. One on each arm. Other side. 